So we're going to start our journey for today at pattern-collections.com. Make sure you do the dash. It's pattern-collections. Go to pattern focus to find today's pattern. Scroll down to today's date. And today we are going to do, oh, interesting. That's, I've never seen that one before. Interesting. Okay. This one is called Tunnels. It may not exactly fit in my, in my string, but we'll see what happens. Apparently what you do is you'll start out with a sort of a flower-like shape, a circle with four petals, right? Zoom that in. Okay, that's step one. Not too sure why she's got this dot grid going on here. Maybe because she wanted it to be more um, regular in her shapes, but you know, I'm not regular, so tend, I'm going to tend to be a little more organic with this. Step two. Oh, this is uh, by Anya Meter. I'm, I think I forgot to say yesterday who did who did yesterday's pattern. I'm sorry. Apologized. Okay. Um, within each of those little corners. You can put another circle and two more petals, right? All the way around. And this is going to just build on itself. Um, and then in here, we're going to put a circle and one petal. A little dot in the middle. She added dots in the middle somewhere along the way here. I may or may not do that. And then again in the corners with two petals and then there's the finished one and then this one here shows it so you start with the one in the middle and then you have four and then you have do the four corners and then you do the middle and then you do the f four corners right and then the middle so you just keep filling up with the one dot and then two petals or one dot and one petal all the way around and we're just gonna give that a go and see what happens I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't think it wants to be constrained in this Y shape of string number 40 I'm sorry but I don't think it does so we're just gonna kind of ignore string number 40 Start with this size right there, like that. Zoom in just a little bit. Okay. And then four petals. Thusly. Okay. And then. corners and two petals oh somebody's at the front door another delivery you guys get to hear a lot of those he didn't ring the bell he just dropped and ran okay um, and then here, with one petal. And we're just going to keep building until it's as big as we want it to be. And you know what? I think maybe I can kind of incorporate this shape. I didn't think I could. I'm only going to build this way and this way, and I'm going to stop going this way, and I will make my Y shape. Ha ha ha! Look at that. 
didn't think I could do it, but now I think I can. All right, so let's do this one and this one with two petals. That. And I'm going to do one here and one here and one petal and one petal and maybe here like this and I'm going to do two petals because that's the shape I want. Gonna to try to be kind of symmetrical with what I do is all. I'm just gonna do one petal and maybe one here. Like that. Okay. We're gonna give ourselves this interesting shape. I'm gonna turn it around so it's closer to me and so I don't go out of frame. Okay, so here and here I want two petals. And then here and here. I want two petals. Okay, and then here I want one petal, and here I want two petals, and here. Two petals and here maybe one and here I'm gonna go with two. Just about done here. I think here gets two. It's kind of a little bit like um, building a carpet daisy. It's just a different shape. Okay, I think that kind of does it. I want one more in these corners. One here going that way. And one here going that way. There we go. And then I think I want to Because today is 4th of July, I'm going to get out my red and my blue and I'm going to do some filling in with red and blue. Here's my blue micron. I'm not going to use a sharpie because that goes, that bleeds through. To the other side. I want. I don't want it to bleed through to the other side. I'm going to use the blue, and I'm going to fill in between 
here. So if you guys want to keep um, giving me well wishes and prayers for my knee, I would appreciate it. Um, each day gets better than the last, but um, the other day, not yesterday because I had yesterday off, but the um, day before, I ended up having to work a full shift and out on the sales floor, and by the end of the night, it was killing just killing me. I was having a really hard time. I was hoping that it was getting a lot better, but we'll see how today goes. I, you know, I rested all day yesterday. I feel like a bum because I'm not doing anything around the house. Everybody else is doing stuff around here. Um... But I just, I feel like I need to really rest it. Um, I have been doing some exercises, uh, non-weight-bearing exercises, to help strengthen those knee muscles. Thinking that maybe, depending on my schedule, Thinking of maybe going over to the community pool and doing a little swimming. That'll be good exercise. But yeah, I looked up uh, knee exercises and so I've been doing doing the ones that look like they're they don't require me to um, stand on my knee because that seems to be the worst is when I'm walking um, and putting that strain um, so I've been doing these exercises where you sit in a chair and you um, do various leg lifts and that type of thing um, there's a couple others laying down. So I've been doing those. Strengthen those muscles. If I get to a point where it feels like it is uncomfortable and starting to hurt, I stop. So I'm not overdoing. But, uh, you know, the doctor did say it's going to take four to six weeks, maybe eight weeks to heal. I'm just glad that it's it feels better each day. It feels better than the day before um, because that means that it is just a sprain and not a tear. Because the doctor said if it's a tear, it will just get worse or not get better, put it that way. It'll stay bad. Um, it does seem to be getting better, so... But I am asking for... Put uh, some love and light out into the universe for me. I would appreciate it. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to post the prayer list at church. See, I have all this sort of stream of consciousness thing happening while I draw. And you guys get the benefit of just me just blurting out whatever, whatever comes to mind. We have our church um, has a monthly prayer calendar published in the in the news.
newsletter, the monthly church newsletter, and um, we just lift up church members and regular attenders um, on a rotating schedule. So we have a calendar, and your name's on the calendar, and on that day, that that's who we pray for, church. So I have started putting that information on our church Facebook page so that, or not page, um, group, not the page, the page is public. The page is public, the group is private, so the um, Facebook group, I've started putting the daily prayer calendar person out there on Facebook so that we are all reminded of who we're supposed to pray for today and everybody in the congregation doesn't have to go dig out their calendar every day. <clears throat> People are appreciating that. So, it just reminded me that I need to do that yet today. So I need to do something else besides this vase shape that I've got going on here, but I don't know what. I want something kind of... Is that enough? Okay. What do I want back here? Okay, there's got to be sort of a fireworky tangle, right? We'll think about it. Where's my red? I want red. I want red in these. Do I want it in all of them? I don't know. So I'm going to start with random ones and see how I feel and I may put them in all or I may leave them just in random ones. I think I just want random. Like that. Maybe one more up here. Okay, I'm good with that, and maybe this middle one. Okay, I'm happy with that. But now I want something in the background, but I don't know what I want. Okay, first off, I want to erase this so that they don't get in my view while I'm thinking. Okay, that, that helps. going to do some kind of thing like that, like sparklers. Yep, that's what's going to happen here.
it's just spitting out flames here. There we go. We've made ourselves a a, a Fourth of July sparkling fountain. It needs some red here. Just a dot. Right there, like that. Okay, I'm happy with that. How about you guys? You guys are happy with that? I'm really happy with that. It needs red right here. See, I keep saying I'm done, and then I look up, and my tile tells me I'm not done. It needs red right there. Okay, now, is it done? Oh, yeah, I'm happy with that. It could even live that way. But it's living that way. It's living that way, and it's going to be signed, and it's going to be named. The name was Tunnels. Imagine it's supposed to be Tunnels because these are supposed to have bits like this in them. I should at least do some. See, I thought I was done, but apparently I'm not. Darn, Tile keeps talking to me. Are you done now? Can I be done yet? One more. It wants one more. Now am I done? Okay. Alright, so this is T-U-N-N-E-L-S. String number 40. Tunnels. String number 40. Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. You guys have a great day. Um, watch my other special video for today. It's really, really long. So, um, you know, there are some people who are not going to want to sit through two almost one hour videos. Uh, they're just not going to want to do it. Skip over them. That's cool. Um, it's just a really long video. Um, I had to break it up into two parts um, but you know sometimes you got to do what you got to do uh, and if you fast forward through it that's fine too you know skip around watch from the beginning the very beginning of, of part one tells you a bit about why it's a special occasion and then um, yeah just move on through and you can get all the way to the end or skip to video number two to see the final product Anyway, I want to, <laughs> I want to just wish you all a happy 4th of July. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Don't blow your hands off. You know, all those good things. Um, and, uh, but enjoy the party and, and celebrate the fact that uh, those of us who are here in the United States are, are, are celebrating the, uh, 
the wonderful independence that we have. Um, although we are becoming, it was a great thing 200 years ago to be completely separate and apart and, uh, you know, independent. But now we're becoming a one world global economy, global, uh, you know, I've, I've now got friends across the world that I have never met, but they're interconnected through the interwebs and we're becoming one again. And so I think it's kind of interesting how the dynamic of, of the lands and the political structure uh, ebbs and flows. So, you know, maybe we can all become one and, and be peaceful. Maybe we can't. Maybe we have to be separate. But peaceful is something. Coexisting is still something, you know, like we all live in our own separate homes. We're separate. But at the same time, we live in a neighborhood and a city and a, and a state and a town and a, and a country that's more bigger than ourselves. So if we keep our small little part of the world um, happy and peaceful and contained, um, you know, maybe that will happen to the rest of the world and we will all be living together peacefully and coexisting. We can only hope, right? Okay. So you guys have a great time. I will see you tomorrow. Might be, I don't know if I'll be on time because, you know, we're going to be staying up late. So I don't know if I'll get up early and do some drawing or not, or if I will be just a bit late. But anyway, you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.